Hey YouTube, thanks for watching. Today we're going to be doing a quick review of the Pokemon Shoto Volume 4 figures. These figures are from Bandai and they include Cinderace, Garchomp, Machamp, and Umbreon and an accessory set. We're going to be going over the boxes, of course the accessories, and the figures themselves. Uh, to make this simple, we're just going to go 1 to 5. 5 being the accessory set, but the accessory set is actually going to go um, with the figures since it just makes it that easier. Um, before we get too far into this review, I do want to say that you can get these figures at camarts.biz for the lowest prices. Uh, they have a lot of great deals, a lot of combined offers, free shipping on orders of $150, and guaranteed authentic products. Um, I'll put that description or link in the description and at the end of the video for you. But anyways, here is the first box for Garchomp. Uh, just spin around. They're nice little boxes. Here's my hand for comparison. They're pretty small. Uh, the figures do stand about three inches tall. There's just all the figures right there. Nice little example. On the inside of the boxes, there is some instructions on how to build these figures. These figures do come in little, um, I don't know, push clip things, whatever like this. And you kind of have to build the figures. Uh, there's no painting involved or anything like that. So they're not exactly model kits, but they're not exactly pre-built figures either. So the Garchomp... Um, this accessory stand is part of the accessory st set, and it does. It is two pieces. Um, connects down there, just real easy. Um, really nice stand for that. And he just sets in right there on the top. Gonna go ahead and set that off to the side. Um, as far as Garchomp himself, really cool figure. Great detail on this. Great articulation. Um, something I really do like is the head. Um, it comes up and down like that or it can kind of go it's on a ball joint so it can twist um, so we can kind of like rawr you know that's really cool uh, I can actually set that down over there so it doesn't get in the way but anyways there is the guard chomp he does um, have a neck articulation point as well right there his arms can go up and down really uh, getting in the way it does get in the way right there that way but you can just twist it to avoid that it does twist right there where it connects, and then his arms do twist at the elbowish area as well. Um, something you'll notice the arms and legs, if you just push them a little bit, they kind of come off easy, kind of like a uh, Lego skeleton if you guys ever had those. But, anyways, not something to worry about. It's not too bad. They don't break very easily. So, in the middle, he uh, twists right there. His legs do bend and go side to side, um, up and down a little bit. His tail, of course, moves, twists, goes all the way around, and then his legs bend at the knees a pretty good amount, and the feet do move side to side and uh, twist. But anyways, yeah, that's what I'm talking about with the uh, with the with the pieces. But they are three inch figures, so that's pretty. It's not too bad. Um, but anyway, so that one is there. There's the Cinderace. Cinderace does come with a little set of extra arms. Oh, and they all come with this little piece of gum. They are gum uh, candy toys. So, yeah, there's that. But anyways, here is the accessory set for Cinderace, or the accessory from the accessory set. It's a little stand and a little fireball or fire kick or something. Um, the stand just plugs in at the bottom, twists around, and then at the top, that can twist and move up and down. The figure itself, the arms do move up and down like that pretty much any way you want. They also twist where they connect in exchange for these bended arms. Um, the legs come up and down, which is kind of cool. So you can get a lot of poses. As you saw, I had him on uh, one knee. And then his head can move all the way around, up and down, just like that. He does have a stomach joint, so you can twist him right there. Legs can come all the way up and down and around. They do twist right up there as well. Um, yeah, sorry. Leg came out. But anyways, the knee does move just like that up and down. And, of course, it can twist right there too. Um, the legs or the feet, I mean, pretty sweet feet. Even the toes can move. Uh, they just bend like that. Really great little toes. And, then of course, they can twist side to side and... Um, move up and down such as really great articulation on the Cinderace really impressed on the Garchomp too of course um, with the mouth and everything here is Umbreon um, Umbreon does come with some extra accessories also just as Umbreon this is the accessory from the accessory set uh, nice little I guess star screen or something I'm not really sure what the move would be called 
or what the movie's called. Um, but Umbreon does come with these extra little legs so that you can have him sitting down in a cat position, or like a sitting position. Um, as you can see, he stands very well, of course, uh, pretty much any way you would want him to stand. But anyway, so the head does move, twist all the way around. It does have a head and neck joint, so you can get a lot of articulation there. Um, there we go again with the joints. But anyways, the joints do move up, down, uh, and a little bit out to the side. As you saw, if you push it, it will just come off, but it won't break, so you can put it back easily. Um, the legs do bend also there, or the paws, I guess. Really good um, range there. And there's the tail. As I said, I, you, this I'll keep saying it. It keeps happening. Um, they do come apart pretty easily, but they, they don't break. But anyways, that's pretty much it for the Umbreon. And then here is the Machamp. He's probably my favorite from the set. I feel like the fours, um, they try to make the three and the fours really cool. But anyways, here is the head articulation up and down any way you want it. The arms, as you can see, have a lot going on there. There's a joint where it connects to the body and the arms, so you can really get full range of movement there. They also twist right there, bend at the arm. Um, the hands move, and he comes with a ton of extra hands from the accessory set. I'll show you those in a second. So he has these pairs in kind of an open grip, and then he has some chop hands and fist hands from the accessory set. One hand for each um, arm, of course. But anyways, yeah, so that's it for the arms. They can all move like that, so really great movement on the arms. He does move at the chest. Um, yeah, you can't really twist it all the way around, but you can get a pretty good amount there. Um, not really up and down either, but just a tiny bit. Legs do move up and down, side to side. Really good movement there. He bends at the knees, and then the feet can twist and move a little bit up and down to the side. Really, really great. Uh, Machamp, Machamp figure. Probably one of my favorite Shotos so far. And I will get those hands real quick. So there's one of the open hands, the chop hands. And then the fist hands. And like I said, there's one for each. Anyways, that's pretty much it for this review. Like I said, just wanted to do a quick review, show you kind of what these Shotos are about. Uh, make sure you guys check out Camarots.biz in the link in the description and at the end of this video right here. Uh, they got great deals. Also, if you like this video, please subscribe. Check out our other videos. Comment, like, share, do all that good stuff. We have reviews from the other waves of Shotos. There's been, uh, well, this is the fourth wave, obviously, so three other waves. Uh, a lot of cool figures there, a lot of cool stuff coming. We got a fifth wave coming in, I believe, April of 2021. So that's going to be really cool. It's got Mega Sceptile and Salamance. Uh, yeah, good stuff coming. So thank you for watching, guys. Please subscribe, check out our other stuff, and make sure to check out Cam Arts for those great prices on Shotos. Have a good one.